Okay, what's up YouTube? This is J-Man Time, and today I have a video on OIC. OICW actually started way before the XM29 project. So let's go over the early OICW type weapons before we hit the XM29. The first OICW type weapon, or the first um, objective infantry combat weapon, was the Italian Carcano Brida, Con Brida Con Trombolincini, or Sino, M1927. This was a prototype bolt action carbine fitted with a grenade launcher attachment, a 38.5mm rifle grenade launcher attachment. Now this attachment was pretty much um, permanently fitted to these prototype carbines and there were several other carbines of, the sim of similar types. The second version was designed in the same year 1927 except this version had the grenade launcher mounted on the underside rather than on the side of the weapon as you saw in the first version. Then there became then there came another version of this weapon called the Carcano M1928 TS and this weapon was pretty much the same the only difference is the grenade launcher was mounted further forward attached to the barrel of this weapon. Now these two these three bolt action OICW type weapons were never adopted by the Italian army. Instead, uh, they were pretty much abandoned like most other projects designed by the Italians in the 1920s and 30s, you know. So let's move on to the next OICW type weapon, and that would be the Soviet um, 80.002 OICW. Now this weapon was a variant of the AK-74, and it was designed between 1975 and 1979. This was pretty much an AK-74 that was modified to have a small semi-automatic grenade launcher attached to it, or permanently attached to its side barrel. This weapon um, fired the standard 5.54 by 39mm cartridge, but had a 12.7mm grenade launcher fed by a 10 round magazine. Now this grenade launcher was semi-automatic, but it did not fire airburst cartridges, at least that's not what I've seen in the research. But it could have, as this weapon was not very well researched in the West, and most of the information comes from Western sites. But as you can see, it was a pretty uh, well-designed weapon, and this is my favorite of the OICWs that were designed uh, during the Cold War. The next OICW is the main OICW that most people uh, refer to when they refer to the OICW type weapons as a whole, and that was the American uh, XM8 slash XM29 series of prototype weapons. Now, the XM8 slash XM29 project started in 1994. 1994. Um, the second rifle in the series was designed in March 1995. And it was pretty much closer to what we now know as the XM-29. Then there were several other versions, uh, one made in September 95, another made in December 95, which was the coolest looking one. Um, then there was one designed in uh, August 1996, January 98, and June 99. And there was also another one designed between July and December of 1999. Now, the XM-29 project went through a long 10-year period of development, but it pretty much went nowhere. But at the same time, it will later go on to influence other um, OICW projects, both within NATO and within um, pro-NATO countries like, for example, South Korea. But first, let's look at a French OICW type weapon. And the first French OICW type weapon designed was the Pop Pop, also known as the P-A-P-O-O-P, -O -O which stands for Poly Arm, 
poly projectile system. Now, this was an experimental OICW type dual purpose assault rifle that was originally designed in 1995. Now, this weapon is slightly different from the XM29 as it uses a 35mm airburst grenade launcher instead of a 20mm as you saw in the XM29. This weapon also fired a different type of standard ammunition or a different type of experimental standard ammunition, the 5.5 by 45 millimeter Sabot cartridge. Unlike the standard 5.56 millimeter ammunition, this ammunition fired um, armor piercing dart type ammunition, um, which had a much higher rate of fire slash um, higher muzzle velocity than the standard 5.56 ammo. For example, the standard 5.56 ammo has a muzzle velocity of around 2,800 to 3,000 feet per second, while the 5.56 millimeter Sabot cartridge has a muzzle velocity of around 4,700 feet per second, as we saw with the ACR project of the same era in the 1990s. This weapon had a two to three round grenade launcher magazine and had a rate of fire of roughly 800 to 1,000 rounds per minute. Now there are two versions of the Pop Pop rifle. There's a larger, bulkier version that weighed around eight kilograms and there was a smaller version or the Pop Pop Model 2, which weighed around six kilograms, you know. Both of these weapons were pretty much experimented with in the 90s, but was pretty much abandoned by the year 2000. So that pretty much ended the Pop Pop project, but it was uh, at least France's first major attempt at replacing the FAMAS rifle or developing a weapon that could potentially replace the FAMAS rifle. Which brings us to the next uh, OICW, and that is the South Korean um, Duo K11, or Duo K11. The K11 is a dual purpose um, assault rifle and grenade launcher designed between 2000 and 2008. This weapon is basically uh, the South Korean equivalent of the American XM29. Um, they both fire the stand standard 5.56 ammo and both have 20 millimeter um, airburst grenade rounds, or, you know, for their semi-automatic grenade launcher. This weapon is fed by a 20 to 30 round magazine and has a five round magazine for the grenade launcher. Now the K11 is the first of the OIC weapons to actually be adapted. You know, and it is pretty much the most advanced infantry weapon in the South Korean army as most South Korean weapons or, or most South Korean infantry rifles, rifles are based off the American AR-15 and American M-16 models, whereas this is based off an experimental weapon that the United States never actually adopted. Um, the Duo K-11 would later go on to expire the Chinese um, OICW from China, which was designed in 19, in 2005, and that is the Chinese ZH-05. The ZH-05 is an experimental um, OICW type rifle designed in the year 2005, and it like the it, like the um, just like the American XM29, this weapon also went through a variety of different prototypes before coming to the final version. This weapon is chambered for a different type of ammunition, the Chinese 5.8 by 42 millimeter cartridge, and is fed by either a 30 round magazine, and there are some reports that it could take a 75 round drum magazine. This weapon also has a 20 millimeter grenade launcher, though unlike the American and South Korean weapons, this weapon has a single shot bolt action grenade launcher. So basically China has produced a cheaper version of the XM29. The Chinese ZH-05 will later go on to influence the North Korean uh, OICW, along with the, uh, the ZH-05 wasn't the only one that uh, influenced this North Korean weapon. Also, the XM-29 and South Korean Duo K-11 would also go on to influence the, what I would call the Type 106 Juche, but that's not the official name. This hypothetical name for this unnamed weapon is an OICW type weapon that was designed between 2015 and was unveiled in 2017, in April of 2017. This weapon is based on the uh, Soviet AK-74, 
but has a dual, it does have a um, 20 millimeter airburst grenade launcher, just like both the Chinese ZH-05 and the American uh, XM-29 and South Korean Duo K-11. Not much is known about this weapon, as it only appeared in a North Korean military parade in 2017. But this weapon does show that North Korea is also in, is also interested in OICW weapons as a whole. So what do you all think? Tell me in the comments section below. Until next time, this is J-Man Time signing off. Yeah. Too much chat. <laughs>